Andy Murray witnessed his worst defeat in seven years against Roberto Bautista Agut in Doha on Wednesday, a news report stated. Former world number one Murray, 34, was beaten 6-0, 6-1 by the Spaniard, who won the tournament in 2019. A news report in the Telegraph claimed that the defeat resulted in the worst scoreline of his professional career. The publication's tennis correspondent, Simon Briggs, wrote, Andy Murray may be moving up in the world rankings, but on Wednesday in Doha he suffered a chastening defeat that saw him win only one game, thus equaling the worst scoreline of his professional career. Murray had gone into the tournament looking to win his first singles title since 2019 and had made a strong start with a straight set win against Japan's Daro Daniel. But he was well beaten by the 2019 champion, Bautista Agut, who will play his compatriot Davidovich Fokina in the last eight. According to the reports, the last time Andy Murray faced Roberto Bautista Agut, the world number 16 from Spain, it was expected to be his retirement match. The match took place in Australia in 2019, after Murray had told a press conference that he thought his career might effectively be over. Despite returning to the tour of the metal hip seven months later, Murray is still struggling to compete consistently with the best players, as Wednesday's 6-0, 6-1 defeat underlined. The report stated, this was a real hammering, especially in a first set that saw Bautista a good win 25 points and lose just 8. Murray was spraying unforced errors in all directions from the very first point, which saw a backhand miss its mark. Murray's win-loss record over the past 12 months shows the level he is capable of playing at with a metal hip. Against players ranked between number 21 and number 150, he has a success rate of 72.4%. But against those in the top 20, it drops to 21.4%. Murray had gained revenge against his Australian Open conqueror, Taro Daniel, the world number 110 from Japan with a comfortable 6-2, 6-2 win on Tuesday, but did not come close to gaining a foothold when he returned to the court to face Bautista Agut 24 hours later.